Your new comedy, Jay, off the menu. It's a romantic comedy set in uh, New Mexico based on food, love, different things. I want to hear more about that in a little bit, but I'm so curious about how you met this screenwriter. I think you said off camera it was at Script Pipeline. Yeah. So it's like a screenplay sort of meet and greet or something. Correct. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about like what it was like to go there, what your expectations were, and how it was to sit down with these different screenwriters? I'm gonna I'm gonna help you here. Okay, okay so sure. Um, when I set out to make my next movie, Bethany, my producer, um, suggested we go to screen, a screenwriter's pipeline kind of uh, a day in Hollywood where producers are invited to meet screenwriters. And it's, you know, it sounds to me a little bit like an overwhelming joke, but it turned out to be pretty fascinating as a producer as well as a director to uh, sit face to face with screenwriters that have busted their butts to, uh, you know, actually meet people uh, and share their hard work that actually could actually make a decision on taking this project to market. Um, I can tell you, honestly, the screenwriters, and no different than the filmmakers, you know, finding your next project is, is hugely challenging, but we made a decision uh, right out the gate that we really didn't want to take pitches from anybody unless they were within the framework of something that we wanted, which was a story that was going to do the opposite of my last movie. My last movie, Girl on the Edge, is a very serious drama about a real life event. And we didn't care about whether it was real life now or not. All we cared about was we wanted to do something that was inspirational, entertaining. And we were lucky enough to meet Jen Goldson, the screenwriter of Off the Menu, at a a writer's fest, so to speak, in Hollywood where you meet writers and you meet producers and you have an ability to be able to be pitched these properties. And what's really cool about it is you hear it from the person who actually wrote the material and you hear it very quickly. I, I think they gave each creative writer three minutes to pitch their, their screenplay and, you know, it was one of the ones that uh, Bethany brought to my attention and we read it and we liked it. And we, we thought we could make this, you know, cool. I mean, one of the big challenges of any type of uh, purchase of a screenplay, besides negotiating it, is always going to be, is it even affordable to make? Because these are independent movies and, you know, maybe they're 18 to 20 day shoots. So you have to have a screenwriter that's not only willing to sell their property, but is also willing to modify it or allow me to modify it into something that is actually something we can make. Because ultimately, in my movie, uh, Off the Menu, the screenwriter had written in a finale where it was a hot air balloon being chased by a truck, and that itself might have costed half of what the movie cost. <laughs> Although it was great writing, it was something that was unaffordable. So we were able to come to some uh, you know, m favorable solution. Yeah, I was curious about that. So it's not only do you like the material, but also how much of a you know marriage is it really for that Correct. that time? How how agreeable is the other person going to be, and vice versa? You, you know, it's a it's a very important um, thing for me. Um, you know, filmmaking is a collaborative medium. I'm not a screenwriter, uh, although I'm collaborating on screenplays all the time that I'm trying to take to market for myself. But ultimately, you wake up in the morning and you really do come to some real physical realities. And that is, you know, um, I don't think screenwriters generally sit down and go, this is a $1 million movie. <laughs> this is a $50 million movie. They just write from their heart. And, and um, I think it's somewhat critical that, that in my life that I have a good relationship with these people because the last thing I want to do is A, ruin their movie and B, you know, turn it into something that it never was supposed to be. I mean, I have a good friend right now that bought a really motivational, big time movie, you know, a $30, $40 million movie, and they shot the movie and the editor started cutting it to emphasize something that was never intended. And that's the way the movie was finished. Oh. So from my standpoint, uh, if it's better, that's great. But if I was the screenwriter, I would be horrified. 
Right, and I want to go into that later about any types of revisions while sure. you're on set and things like that. But what did Jennifer do right in her pitch to you? I think I think Jennifer um, did a nice pitch enough to get Bethany to read the script, and then Bethany give me the script. But she writes with a really believable uh, pitch in her dialogue that instantly uh, found all of us engaged with versus, you know, when I read scripts, sometimes it's painful because they're writing in a zone that requires you to get through 10 pages before you start to feel um, a, a, a sense of uh, being a part to the tone of the, of the screenplay. And from, from page one, I knew that it was going to be a quick read. And I think a lot of directors will say the same thing about properties that they've taken. They just couldn't put it down. And this was, you know, that kind of an experience. 